I had a little bit of a hair catastrophe this morning. I had my hair up in a little bun on top of my head to, you know, keep it out of reach of children. Took it out and I had the most ridiculous wave slash curl going here. You can kind of see it when I turn my ponytail. Yeah, like this bit did not match the waves over here. It was not a good look. It's ponytail day for that reason. And unfittingly, the theme of today's video is the prettiest perfumes. And this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. You'll notice I'm very nicely blinged out today with some nice earrings and love this necklace. Like I've been obsessing with this necklace. It's like this slinky serpentine necklace. I can't get enough of it. I have to share Ana Luisa with you guys because they have some of my favorite jewelry pieces. Mostly all the jewelry that I wear in my videos is from Ana Luisa. I truly love them. They're a sustainable jewelry brand and they have price points to match anyone's budget. Like they have for fragrances. They have jewelry starting from $39 and upwards. I got this dainty little bracelet. I never wear bracelets, but I have to show this one to you guys. It is like the cutest little like square chain link type of bracelet. And I don't even feel it on my wrist. Like I never wear bracelets cause they get super annoying, but this one doesn't. And the earrings are like a larger chain link. Check this out. Super comfortable. Like I don't feel any of their jewelry on, which I love, it's very lightweight. This necklace is so smooth. It feels like, like the smoothest hair in the world. I love the necklace. I decided to keep my look pretty unlayered today and just have one piece everywhere, but I do like to layer their jewelry as well. I have like a whole bunch of necklaces of different lengths and I like to layer them. Occasionally, you'll see that in my other videos. So anyway, Ana Luisa, 20% off on their website. You guys should definitely check them out. Really beautiful jewelry pieces, very dainty and elegant and something for every budget. And here we go to the fragrances. So the prettiest fragrances. We are gonna start with, in no particular order, one that I've been in love with, and it's from Erin, and this is Mediterranean Honeysuckle. This fragrance smells very clean. It is like a burst of fresh air and this honeysuckle that is very, very natural smelling. It really does remind me of true honeysuckle that I smell in the summer. This to me is, really a Mediterranean vacation. This is being on like a catamaran or a sailboat off the coast of Santorini and soaking in the summer sun and like those beautiful florals that just ride the breeze. That's what this is to me. It is very clean, almost shampoo-y and it reminds me of a baby wash from Johnson & Johnson that is called Cotton Touch. Similar type of effect. So if you guys are familiar with that body wash, this kind of is similar, but obviously much more upscale, pretty elegant and like a fragrance fragrance. Next up is Goutel's Etoile de Nuit. I love this lipsticky scent. It's quite simplistic. It's very feminine and very pretty. It's iris, raspberry, and there's a woody undertone in here. I do get a woodiness. Like in the opening especially, I get this woodiness, almost like pencil shavings, but it goes away and then it turns like quite sweet. So that raspberry brings a lot of sweetness and you get this very, very nice powdery iris. It's, I'm sure there's a lot more notes in here than the three listed. It does smell quite complex, but really it's a sweet lipsticky scent. I love the packaging as well with this little scarf and the little charm over here. I. I'm in love with Goutal, it turns out. I actually love all of their fragrances. This one really stands out to me and to Nude Soiree, and I really wanna get Nuit Confidence. I haven't tried that one yet. I am waiting for it to come back in stock at Fragrance Buy. So anyway, this one, super pretty lipsticky scent. Then of course, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but Mon Guerlain. Mon Guerlain, Bloom of Rose EDT, you guys. I know, every time. You guys are probably sick of me by now saying Bloom of Rose EDT, but Bloom of Rose EDT. Super pretty. It is your favorite Mon Guerlain, vanilla, lavender, all that good stuff, but feminized with a nice rose note. Um, actually, yeah, it's, it's a lot prettier and more feminine with the added rose and it's a fresh rose. It's not like a super sweet, dense rose. It's actually quite airy and light and it almost lightens the fragrance from the original. So I do enjoy, I'm sure a lot of you guys have caught on and I've seen in the comments that you guys are like, Hey, it seems like you really like fresher scents. Yeah, I do. 
I do really like fresher scents, especially since having a baby, my tastes have shifted and I'll do a video talking about how my fragrance tastes have shifted, but I've definitely shifted more towards the fresher, cleaner, like comfortable type of scent profile. So anyway, they're both super comfortable, very easy wearing, but this one's a little bit lighter, fresher and feminine and pretty. How could we do a pretty fragrance list and not include a Chanel? You guys are probably thinking I'm going to show you Coco Mademoiselle, but I'm not. Chance au Tendre. This is the EDT. I like the EDP as well, but I got the EDT because honestly it was cheaper. They smell very, very similar. And I like that this one is a little bit more kind of airy and fresh. And it has a note of quince, which to me kind of smells like pear like a tart pear, that's kind of what quince smells like to me. It has grapefruit, it has hyacinth, which gives it this aquatic floral facet and musk, very musky, beautiful, feminine, floral, kind of fruity fragrance. This is a fruity floral from Chanel. People that rip on Chanel and say, oh, it's not like grandma and blah, 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 whatever, you guys probably will like this. So I know that a lot of younger folks don't really like Chanel. I've I've, I've heard a lot in the comments from you guys and I hear you, I hear you. It's not for everyone, it's more mature and I guess I'm kind of older and mature because I really love Chanel, but this one, it's, it's more of a younger, youthful, pretty, girly Chanel. So definitely don't give, don't give up on Chanel. Give this one a try. I'm pretty sure you will like this one, you Chanel hating folks. Next up is kind of a bougie one, and this one is from the Armani Privé collection, and it's Pivoine Sujo. This is just a really beautiful peony scent. It's peony dominant. It's very pretty. It's not too sweet. It's not like a sweet candied peony. This one is just a floral, beautiful, airy, almost true peony scent. I really love peonies. They are my favorite flower. They're the prettiest in my opinion. And this really captures this like fluffy airiness of a peony. And no, it's not very long lasting, but the scent is really lovely. And to me, it's worth it. I was kind of on the fence about it for a while. I've worn quite a lot of it over the summer. This is very much a summer fragrance for me. And it does get a lot of compliments. This one is just one of those kind of simplistic, but very captivating fragrances. So definitely Pivon Sujo, one of my prettiest fragrances. Next up from Maison Margiela, we have Springtime in a Park. I'm not sure if this one's discontinued. I did get this at a warehouse sale and it wasn't very expensive. It was like a hundred bucks. So I don't know if it's on its way out. I hope not, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I hope it's not discontinued. It's mainly a pear and lily of the valley musky scent. That's really all it is. And it smells like shampoo. It smells like you just washed your hair with a really nice shampoo and you're walking through literally a park in the summer or in the spring. That's what it smells like. I'll just spray it up in the air. It's truly very, very pretty. It puts a smile on your face. It's one of those girly, lovely fragrances. Floral, a little bit sweet, um, like definitely shampooy. This definitely has a shampooy vibe, but not like a kind of like a fruity, cheap shampoo. This one smells really, really pretty. Like blooming flowers, definitely. You do get a very clean lily of the valley. It's not a green lily of the valley. It's a very clean kind of sweet lily of the valley. The way that it's paired with the pear is perfect. So one to check out from a replica for sure. That one I actually got over the summer and it's climbing up to the top of my favorite Maison Margiela replica fragrances. Coffee Break is still up at the top, but this one is getting really close behind. I mean, for me to wear myself. I also really love Jazz Club, but I digress. Next up is one you guys probably haven't heard a lot about, but I recently got this from Raffinade Perfumery and it's from Parfums de Rosine and this is Bulle de Rose. This one is a soapy rose fragrance. It smells like kind of bubble gummy, definitely like a bubble gummy rose. So if you could think of rose as a bubble gum, like as a juicy fruit type of bubble gum, Imagine Juicy Fruit was rose. This is kind of it, but then you also get soap, like clean, nice soap bubbles. It's really cute, like it's like cute pretty. This is very cute pretty, it's adorable. It's a little ballerina, like this to me, I always say like this one reminds me of a little ballerina. Everything about this brand, the, the shape of their packaging and this one in particular with this gentle little pink color with the little, little pom-pom, super ballerina-esque to me and the smell is also. So 
I love this one. Again, you guys can get this at Refinad Perfumery. I haven't seen it anywhere else and I'll make sure everything's linked in the description. We are getting down to the end and the second last one from the main list is Delina La Rose. I like the La Rose the most. It's the fresher, more aquatic Delina. It doesn't have that sharpness that I find in the other Delinas. It is just a really nice aquatic, tart, rosy, also with lychee. I did mention this one recently in my most romantic fragrances, which I'll link up here. It is a very romantic scent. Like it, it definitely evokes that romantic imagery. Imagine being near a little rose garden at a beach and just breathing in that beautiful air. This is really like a breath of fresh air type of Delina. I like it the most of, of all the Delinas. My tastes have definitely shifted because I used to like the Delina Exclusive, but can't do it anymore. And finally, we have a Jo Malone. This is not the one you're thinking. I bet you guys are thinking Peony and Blush Suede, and I was thinking of including that one in this list, but since I included the Armani Peony scent, I was like, no more Peony. We're going with White Jasmine and Mint. I love this one. This one I wore a lot as well in the summer. And it's like a little bit sweet. It's a tea, it's like a tea scent. It smells like jasmine tea that you get at like a Japanese restaurant, you know, when they pour you the adorable little teacup and it's a jasmine green tea. That's kind of what this smells like, but a little bit sweet. The mint is not like a harsh mint. It's a very subtle mint, almost hardly there. It's more about just the sweet, jasmine sort of tea scent. I love it. Nice fresh jasmine, not an indulged jasmine, not heavy in any way, just very airy, sweet, and very tea-like. So this one is like a little pretty tea party. And now we're down to two honorable mentions, both from Dior. The first one is Miss Dior EDP, and this is the 2017. I don't know if this one is still being manufactured and sold and readily available. You can find this on online retailers, but I think it's been replaced by the new EDP, which doesn't smell at all like Miss Dior. Anyway, this one is just a beautiful rose citrus patchouli scent. It's a little bit sweet. It's got a little bit of a peppery opening. It's like a sweeter, mouth-watering type of Coco Mademoiselle scent. Like I feel if you love Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel, you will love this as well. They are in a similar scent profile, but this one is sweeter, heavier, and less of that patchouli. To me, this is more of just like a sweet rose scent and sweet citrus. It's, it's definitely a lot sweeter. I really, really like this one. I feel like there's vanilla in here as well. I don't think there's vanilla listed, but it smells to me like there is some vanilla in here. Really lovely. If you can get this, I would definitely go for this over the current release of Miss Dior. I also really like Blooming Bouquet. That one is very, very pretty, but on me, it doesn't last very long. And finally, I only have a little tiny sample. I never really got a full bottle of J'adore because I feel like it's quite common these days. A lot of people wear it, almost too many people wear it. I feel like this is the Sauvage equivalent, but for women in terms of popularity. But it's very pretty. It's a very comfortable floral sort of citrus scent. And it smells like a mom. Like in the best way possible, this smells like a very comforting mom scent. A very pretty comforting mom scent. So this one is in the honorable mentions. And that is my whole list of the prettiest fragrances. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite prettiest fragrance is. And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa while they're having their 20% off sale. Everything is linked in the description for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.